Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our new coffee bin for an update to see how these blue worms were getting along with their coffee feeding from last week. And we'll dive right in. If I recall, they were right in the middle. And it does appear like the worms are all throughout the coffee layers here. And their size is looking really good. And they actually are in it. It did not dry out like I was concerned was a possibility. Some of these filters are still in here, but looks like they're doing some good work. And they're definitely not having any problems. I see a few beetles. I'm seeing a bunch of them. I've been doing updates today and I had stopped using my neem cake in my systems for a while and I'm definitely noticing that I'm getting back using it, but it definitely had an impact. I was hardly seeing any beetles and now I'm seeing quite, quite a few. So um, definitely need to continue using my dry mix with that neem cake in it and the diatomaceous earth and all that good stuff to hopefully prevent them from taking over. But the moisture in here feels really good. It's moist all throughout. There's still, you can see, there's some potworms too, which are pretty normal in coffee grounds. But there's still some unprocessed coffee in here. But I do think that these worms could probably go for a little bit more food. So I think I'm going to mix this up really well. And I've got some coconut core. So I think I'll add some coconut core in here today, some more coffee, and we'll give these guys some more time to get acclimated and working in here, but no obvious immediate signs of any issues. Um, obviously the beetles are a little annoying, but green beetles are really common, um, at least for me in my systems, they're quite common. They don't usually have any sort of interest in leaving the bin where they have a steady food source, so I don't worry about it much. But so far, so good. Let's get something. We'll feed one of these other corners with some more coffee and some coconut core for some added bedding, and we'll leave them for another week. Okay, guys, so I, I literally mixed the entire contents of the bin up really well. It was a little bit wet down in the bottom, so that was good aeration. Um, for the system to turn it up. Some people don't like turning up their systems. I actually think it's a good thing. Helps you kind of assess the moisture in the bottom because it can feel dry in the top and be wet in the bottom. So, oh my, that was way more than I intended, but you know what? It's over to the corner, so they'll have plenty of area to escape. Maybe we'll just spread this across the whole side here. Could end up regretting this, but they have this entire area over here to escape if it would get too warm or too acidic, anything like that. So I think it actually could be an interesting thing to see. But that was an entire coffee container there full of my used grounds from like the last week. Loading it down. Lots of the dry mix. Make sure that will help with pH buffer help reduce those pest numbers and provide a little extra kind of trace minerals, things like that for the worms. So I'm just going to kind of keep this coconut core mounded on this side loosely. It's moistened already and I'm literally just going to lay this sheet of bubble wrap back across the top. But with all that coconut core, that should help kind of block out any sort of smells. Uh, there's still obviously space around this um, bubble wrap for plenty of aeration to get down into the bin while still holding in enough moisture for the worms to be able to work and to prevent the coffee from drying out. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.